Hello everyone, my topic is spinning drop tensiometer and what is the use of this machine? It is for measuring the surface tension. There are many methods in measuring the surface tension including the maximum bubble pressure method, the capillary rise method, the Wilhelm plate method, dual ring method, drop foam and drop weight methods, and the drop and bubble shape methods, and finally the rotating drop shape methods. And the machine that are introduced, the spinning drop tensiometer, is using the method of rotating drop shape. And this diagram shows the inside of the spinning drop tensiometer. And <clears throat> the measurements are carried out in a rotating horizontal tube which contains a dense fluid. A drop of a less dense liquid or a gas bubble is placed inside the fluid. Since the rotation of the horizontal tube creates a centrifugal force towards the tube walls, and the liquid drop will start to deform into an elongated shape. This elongation stops when the interfacial tension and the centrifugal force are balanced. The surface tension between the two liquids can then be derived from the shape of the drop at this equilibrium point. And there is the mathematical derivation. And the total mechanical energy equals to the kinetical, kinetical energy plus the surface energy. And the kinetical energy is 1 over 2 i omega square. And the omega is the angular velocity. And the surface, surface energy is 2 pi l r sigma. And, uh, and can be converted to 2 V over R sigma. The V is the volume of the droplet. And by the summation of the kinetical energy and the surface energy, we get this equation. At mechanical equilibrium, the change of the total mechanical energy is zero. So by differentiation, the previous equation will change to this equation. And assume the liquid is in cylindrical shape, so the volume can be assumed to be pi l r square. And by solving the equation of the differentiation equation and substitution of the volume, you can get the Fonagas expression. And this one and finally, I will talk about the comparison with other methods. The contact angle is not required in this method and it is not necessary to estimate the curvature at this interface. However, this method cannot be used under the case that the liquid has high interfacial tensions as it will require very high angular velocity. And thank you, this is the end of my presentation. Created using Powtoon.